Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to John. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of booths was near, but after his brothers had gone to the festival, then he also went, not publicly, but as it were in secret. Now some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is not this the man whom they are trying to kill? And here he is, speaking openly, but they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Messiah? Yet we know where this man is from, but when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. Then Jesus cried out as he was teaching in the temple, You know me! and you know where I am from. I have not come on my own, but the one who sent me is true, and you do not know him. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. Then they tried to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him because his hour had not yet come. I have to imagine that if you were in a town square, if you were out in public, and Jesus Christ, blessed be his name, our Lord and Savior, if Jesus Christ cried out in a loud voice, you do not know God, and said it to you or to me, I can't imagine that that would feel very good. Yet, all of us have images, have understandings of who God is that fall short. By my estimation, there are two primary things that contribute to us having a vision or an understanding of who God is that falls short. One is our family of origin, the people that we surround ourselves with, our circles of influence, our circles of friends, the people that we went to school with, our colleagues at work. The way that people think about God and have thought about God around you influence heavily what you understand about God. Secondly, we are pretty good at cherry picking as though we're in a buffet line. I'll take some of this and I'll take some of that, but I'm going to ignore that other thing. We're very, very good at cherry picking the things about God that make us comfortable and setting aside the things about God that are tough lessons, tough teachings. It is absolutely our responsibility to in humility, do everything in our power, everything that we possibly can to truly know who God is so that the God we're worshiping is not the God of me, myself, and I, the unholy trinity. If we aren't truly worshiping God, then we are worshiping ourselves or God forbid some other entity. To worship and love God, live in covenant with God, we must obey his commands. We must truly know what he desires us to know about him. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.